Hello, Rita. Hey, Ira. Can you, can you uh, let everyone know uh, what uh, nanotech is and how it's currently used in our world? Absolutely. So when we say nano, obviously I think people mostly know that it means small, but they don't know how small. So when we say nano, we mean one billion. So if I told you a nanosecond, then be a billionth of a second. But when people talk about nanoscience and nanotechnology, we're talking about size. So we're talking about things on the nanoscale. So things that are billionths of a meter in size. So that's things that are on the size of maybe like viruses, proteins, DNA, things where hundreds or thousands of them could fit into one of the cells in your body. I can put it another way to you too. So if I handed you a soccer ball and I asked you how many viruses could fit on the surface of this soccer ball, it would be just as many viruses that could fit on that soccer ball as you could fit soccer balls on the surface of the earth. Whoa. We're talking really, really small. Yeah, that's a scale most of us can't even comprehend. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's certainly a scale that none of us can see with our eyes. So already you need special types of microscopes if you want to really see objects that are that small. But it's actually something that's all around us. So nature uses nanoscience and nanotechnology all the time. And there's a lot of cool effects that we observe in nature that we can mimic. But just on a very practical level, we are able to talk to each other right now on this video because of nanotechnology, because all of the transistors that go into making our computer and cell phone chips, those transistors are on the nanoscale.